There's less beating in the heart of every American town. As businesses shutter, we're all going through it together. And people stay home. <laughs> yeah, this has taken on a life of its own. However, Roger Hoover is stepping out. It's making me uh, worry much less. With a camera. That's awesome. I'm capturing a small moment in time. And a commitment. Good morning. How are you? Bring his neighbors a little closer. One more. That's beautiful. Despite social distancing. It's much more than photography. I mean, we're lucky that we can connect. Hoover, who owned a marketing and advertising agency. Thank you. Focused entirely on small businesses. Lost the majority of his clients when the coronavirus hit. After a few days of moping, um, my wife, she said, you know, you're creative and intelligent. You'll find something to do. Morning. The next day, Hoover launched the Porch Project. How's everybody doing? I heard about your project. I think it's wonderful. I'll be over on Pioneer. The photograph takes seconds. For posterity's sake. They still need help right now. But you'll see Hoover sticking around. Are you guys holding up right now? To help fill a void. You know, people laugh, people cry. We all feel right now. He can still help people. I just let people talk and share their story. I'm fortunate, you know. And make an empathetic connection with people. Jake and Barb Barkley. We have a lot of old homes here with great porches. There we go. Coming out with their three sons posing during this challenging period in American history. Maybe have a couple photos to go back and the kids to show their kids, you know, 30, 40 years from now to say, oh, there was this crazy time that we went through. Hanging in there. Until it's safe to gather on the front porch with neighbors. Seeing those little glimpses of other people's lives is just amazing. Hoover will continue to capture how the pandemic is impacting his neighbors. It's making me feel much more human. Um, and I feel like I'm giving something back to the community. When the shutter stops clicking for the day. Love you guys. And Hoover returns home to edit his photographs. Emily, Kevin, and Lola. A clear storyline emerges. Just something that speaks to me. During this uncertain time. I feel a lot of love. I see it in their faces. Love you guys. Thank you. That's all, right. all you can do. Thank you. Thank you. Everybody is thinking about everybody else right now. Hoover tells me he plans on staying in contact with everyone he's connecting with long after this crisis ends. To see um, how they reflect back on the time, to see how, how they moved through it all. But when you do look back at it, it reveals much more about that moment than you realize while you're in the moment. Have camera, will travel always. Reporting in Kent. More photos. Mike Brookbank, News 5. I'll see you.